answering your sex questions today. I am going to answer the question that someone sent me that is, I have trouble climaxing with a woman. I'm a healthy 60 year old male and I have very strong orgasms at home watching certain type of porn. However, when I'm with a woman, I struggle to climax. I can, but it's a very much effort and it's not as satisfying. I have some tips for you. It's been said for women that it's important for us to know how to make ourselves calm, how to make ourselves feel good, and then to teach our partner. So we bring that same experience and try to replicate it. So if a woman is used to masturbating with a certain way with her hands or her toys, then when she's with a partner, she can do that while she's being penetrated. As an example, you want to add your partner into what you're already doing. So I would recommend if you take the, watch that same porn clip with the women you're with, you will be able to come. But that's not what you want to do, right? You don't want to watch porn and then have this person there and you might not be able to do it because you're worried about them watching you. So this is where I think porn can often be a problem because our brain gets used to like this certain stimulation. So this is advice for men who are watching porn. It's gonna interfere if you rely on it for your orgasms, if you need it to have a good orgasm. You're going to have trouble having an orgasm with a partner because you're used to that visual stimulation and you're used to doing it alone. It's harder to do it with someone watching you. And if a man is only coming from his own hand, it's going to be harder for him to come from another person's hand, let alone a mouth or a vagina, because nothing is going to be as tight as his own hand especially if he's not using lube. There is no woman's mouth or vagina that's as tight as the grip of your hand. So here's what you can do. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is you're gonna have to make some changes. The good news is you can make these changes and it won't take very long. This is what you do. First of all, get rid of the porn and use your imagination. If you want it bad enough, you gotta get rid of the porn and use your imagination instead. It may take you a few weeks before you can climax without the porn. It's the same way that I weaned myself off a vibrator. I used a vibrator just for a few months because I kept thinking I should use a vibrator and then I started using one and after a few months I could not orgasm without the vibrator. However, without the vibrate, it took me like three weeks before I could orgasm just using my hands again. And my orgasms are much, much more powerful. Even now, this is a side note, when I go back to using a vibrator, because I think I should, because they always talk about women using their vibrators, my orgasms are sputter. Because it doesn't give me that same build up somehow, I don't know. So you will get used to it and you may even have better orgasms. Just try it. So number one, here are the tips. Stop watching porn so that you can climax without needing the porn. And a lot of guys are using porn when they're bored or lonely and they're masturbating when they're not actually turned on. So they're overstimulating their penis and desensitizing it. And that also makes it harder to come. So for those two reasons, stop watching porn, just stop for like a month. And masturbate using your imagination when your body feels like it needs a release. So listen to your body. Number two, when you do masturbate, use a loose grip and use lube. So you want to stimulate, simulate how a woman or your partner will touch you. I think that's it. Oh, and then also a lot of guys develop premature ejaculation 
because they're trying to get off really quick before you know someone walks in or they're discovered. How you masturbate at home sets the tone for how you will be with a woman. So you want to learn to control your ejaculation on your own. Um, so those are the tips I would recommend to you. And, um, and then uh, one more thing is that being, uh, having an orgasm requires a certain amount of selfishness. Uh, uh, sorry about the glasses. These are like from I, the time I was 22. I took my contacts out because one of my eyes is bothering me today. Um, I forgot what I was saying. One moment. I remember uh, having an orgasm requires you to be selfish at least for those last moments that last minute or so where you have to focus on your own body and you can't be worried what someone else is thinking or what they're doing or how they're moving and so if you can kind of learn what you need and communicate that to your partner like for me I'll be like don't move around a lot, don't change anything because I'm going within and I'm going within and any movement you make is throwing me off from going within. It works the same way for men and anytime, if you have any anxiety about, you know, how do I look? What is this person thinking? Am I going to come or not? you're thinking and you're not in your body. So you got to get completely into your body, maybe your imagination and be able to completely focus on your own pleasure. And it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be constantly attentive to your partner. There'll be times when you are more attentive and times you go within, it's like a move back and forth. Those are my tips for uh, answering that question. Thank you for your question.